luck here at home, if you look to the skies this time of year, you'll see some of the millions of monarch butterflies fluttering their way into winter in Mexico. They're part of a delicate system of natural pollinators facing a growing and troubling number of threats, mostly from us. Sarah Costa takes us to a festival today celebrating these pollinators and the education effort to protect them. San Antonio loves its parades, and this was a parade with a purpose, educating people about the importance of butterflies in pollinating the fruits and vegetables we eat every day. The People for Pollinators kicked off Sunday's Butterfly Festival, celebrating monarch butterflies as millions are funneling through Texas on their way to Mexico for the winter. A lot of the food you see at the farmer's market is pollinated by bees, butterflies, birds, bats. Um, in China, they have so much air pollution that they have to hand pollinate certain crops, and that's very expensive to do. It increases the price of your food. A big part of the festival, education, teaching not just children, but also adults about the importance of cherishing all types of pollinators. Hundreds of monarch butterflies were tagged and released at the festival and a specialist with the Texas Butterfly Ranch will track their migration. The Texas Butterfly Ranch helped establish San Antonio as the first city in the nation to become a monarch champion city to encourage more pollinator habitats locally. Nothing can be the natural uh, insect pollinators for efficiency and they're free. They provide billions of dollars in ecosystem services to us at no cost. Butterfly tagging volunteer Elizabeth Camaletti says she was happy to teach families about the tagging process and celebrate the monarchs. So pleasant and uh, I don't know, it's one of those cool things that they've been around and why wouldn't you want to celebrate that longevity? Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.